IRFFB. What is it? What does it do? Where do you download it? How do you install it? All without VJoy. I'm about to show you. Then hit in the video. Keep, keep watching. Come on. First things first, you want to go into the description for the link to this website. It's a GitHub link. Um, you'll go to this page here. Um, this isn't actually the page you want. I'll actually link the releases page. Uh, the release currently is uh, 1.4.2, uh, released in 2018. Hasn't been updated in a while, but it doesn't stop it from being great. Um, I've not seen a lot of videos about uh, IRFFB um, and how to set it up, but, uh, but yeah. So you want to click on that. You want to download the EXE and give that a run. Right, so when you've downloaded and set up IRFFB, this is the screen you're going to be greeted with. So with the force feedback device, you want to select your wheelbase. Uh, for some reason, the CSL Elite for me comes up twice. Uh, only one of those will work. So just pick the one that does work. Uh, you want to select your force feedback type as 360 hertz. And then you want to select your minimum force as zero. And then for me, I've set mine up. So the higher the number, the, the, sh the weaker it is. Does that make sense? The maximum force sounds really dumb it's opposite so the maximum force is the opposite that's really weird to ex to say out loud um, I've set mine to 50 even though this wheel is only 6 newton meters but it works for me and that's how I've set it you want to keep dampening off uh, no one likes dampening right so over to the settings the suspension bumps you can actually feel more through the bumps on the force feedback um, I've set those to 50 just somewhere in the middle just to give it a test at the moment I'm figuring out which ones I, I like to use this is something that you want to do yourself um, download this and set all the settings to something you would like. Um, I've not got everything to where I exactly want them yet. I am still playing with it. But it's more of just a showcase of uh, what this program does. Seat of Pants is basically what you would be feeling in your butt if you are actually in the car. So if you could feel the back end going out, you could feel it through the wheel now instead. So we don't have the luxury, some of us uh, don't have the luxury of having a motion platform. <laughs> so we're going to have to stick with something that uh, that basically does that for us just through our hands. The seat of pants effect is actually the way to go with that. Um, so I've got mine set quite high, basically allows you to catch oversteer moments um, because you can feel what would effectively be the back end going out or your butt, seat of pants, but through the wheel. Really, really, really handy. That's like the main thing with this program. Um, and it makes some cars that were previously undrivable, drivable in iRacing. Enough talking about the program, let's, uh, let's jump into iRacing and uh, see, see it in action. Alright, so let's head over to the settings in the right. Let's actually change my capture resolution. Alright, so you can just about see my screen now. Obviously I'm using an ultra wide, so I've changed the aspect ratio really quickly. Uh, just to show in the options, you would like to select the steering input and reset your steering. So basically, what's happened is you've overridden what you were using before um, and now we're using the IRFFB system to, to override the steering input. And that way it can come back and do the force feedback for you. So uh, that's, that's what you have to change first. All right, so once that's set up, you'll be able to jump in the car and, uh, and see what happens when you adjust some settings. So already you can feel that it's slightly different. but I'm going to change that quickly. All right, so we're currently in the car. Uh, I'm going to leave it in windowed mode just so I can see the settings on here. So let's have a look. We're driving out of the pits. So this is with the settings basically all turned off with my sim racing slippers. And I'm purely reacting based on the visuals. Also, it's been a while since I've driven this car. So this is actually doubly good for testing. So that's the we're driving the F3 at the moment. Not prone to spinning as much, but can happen. Oh, yeah, right there. That is a perfect, perfect example of what just happened there. So I was going around the corner and the force feedback was telling me that I was going left, but it just kind of didn't tell me anything else. The force feedback didn't let me know that the back end was slipping out. So that is something that this program, hopefully, can show off right here. So let's 
put the seat of pants effect up to where it was where I had it before, which is what I had it on testing. Uh, and then suspension bumps, this completely unrelated. Let's actually leave that off. So suspension off and we'll leave it on seat of pants effect on 60. So right there, just putting the foot down, you can feel the wheel reacting to the back end. Which is not something I've actually felt before in, in iRacing. Like that, I oh, I thought mid corner, I just blipped the throttle just to see what happened, and uh, it uh, <laughs> you could you could feel it, you could feel the wheel turning. All right, let's go through this corner again. Yeah, they oh I felt that. So I was trying to force it to happen that time, but I actually felt it happen, which I mean gave me more time to react than uh, than last time. I didn't react quick enough, obviously, but I was forcing that one to happen. So if it's a slight mistake, that's something you can correct. Obviously, that was a that was a very big mistake. Oh. Oh. Yeah. See that. All right. So now let's turn that back down to zero. Oh. And immediately drive the track, but that's not the point. And just see what happens here. So the wheel just feels slightly heavier. Says I'm going quicker, but obviously I'm now trying to just drive. Whoa! See that, I did that purely based on visuals. I did not feel that at all. And that is just because I'm bad. Whoop! Didn't feel that. Did not feel that happen. That was not something I felt happen in the slightest. Alright, so I'm going to increase that back up to where I had it before, which was 60. And see if I can emulate that again. Already I can feel it, oh, like understeering and oversteering it a little bit at the same time. I can feel the back end trying to come out in front of itself. There's an apex there somewhere, Toby. Oh, I understeer. There, I felt it. Oh, sorry, oversteer. Not understeer. See, I was trying to talk at the same time and it broke my mouth. And also, my sim racing slippers aren't very good for hitting the brakes. Um, but yeah, I definitely felt it there. I felt it way earlier than I would have done before, um, just by visuals. Because you, you, can, you can feel it before you see it. And that is the biggest thing with this program. Um, being able to feel what's happening before, before the game would normally tell you it's happening. And the game wouldn't tell you what's happening. It would just kind of go, oh, you're spinning now. Um, can you see that? You're spinning. Um, so it's really, really, really useful. Um, especially on cold, cold tires. So, in a, um, that, oh. so obviously what I've just done there is just hit the brakes like an absolute idiot. But I could feel that. If I was doing that with it off, let's try that again. With it off. I mean, the, the outcome would probably be the same. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel that the car was about to spin. I knew it was going to spin, but the thing is I couldn't feel it. Which is the main thing I'm trying to say here is that uh, this gives you the extra feeling. There was nothing. There was nothing. Absolutely nothing. I've been driving with this on for the last couple of days. Maybe about uh, just under a week, I think. And uh, yeah, driving with it off now, it just just does not feel right. No, not a lot of feeling there. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> wow. So yeah, basically. I like it on 60 at the moment, that's where I'm doing my testing, but uh, this program gives you some extra feeling. To stop you from doing that. 
So there we go, there's my uh, quick little rundown and explanation of IRFFE. I hope it was kind of interesting. Um, I mean, I haven't actually seen many videos online about this at all. Uh, there's a couple explaining kind of what it is and how it works, but not really the setup procedure, which I always found was quite uh, important, um, which is how it led me to to using it without VJoy. Um, because I figured out you can, you can use it without VJoy and uh, I was having issues setting VJoy up. Uh, it just wouldn't work for me. So I managed to set it up without VJoy and it works perfectly fine. Like the, the supposed delay that it is supposed to have, I have not found it to be bad in any way, I guess. Um, I haven't noticed it at least. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and if you really liked it, subscribe and play with that notification bell. I got lost in that sentence then. Um, but yeah, hope to, uh, hope to see you in another video whenever that may be. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.